What's up guys, it's Mr. Majestic here. I'm going to show you how to make an Xbox version of the nine digit combination lock. This is basically a cut down version of the previous lock just in one section. So as you can see here, this is the original lock. I basically copied and pasted it up here so that I could work on it. And what I did was I got, well, I got lots of requests asking, you know, is there a way of making it without these half slabs? And this particular version, there isn't. There is a way if you want to make the lock a bit, or a fair bit bigger and more bulky, it'll probably be coming out to about here. Whereas this version compacted it. The piston version, which I have made here, is very compact. As you can see, both on both sides of the lock, it only sticks out two extra blocks other than the output line. So just ignore that. That can be whichever direction you want. But I'll show you guys that this works and that there's no last digit button issue as some people are saying, as some people are whinging about. So here goes. and the door opens. That's the code inputted correctly the first time. Now if we just reset it, it's closed. If we press the last button, which is an eight, it does not open. I could spam click this button all day and it will not stuff up on me. That's, this lock won't stuff up because the reset lines do work. Now these things are the reset lines. All I've done really is deleted this whole circuit part. So from these purple wool bits here, down up to the point above this redstone dust, you go across this whole kind of square that you can see here. You just delete all of that. So in the tutorial, which I will link in the description and in an annotation, build the combination lock up to this point where you have these RS NOR latches. So up to this blue and black circuit, there you stop. And all you have to do, this is really simple. All you have to do is go up on the top here. You have to, here I'll show you, I'll show you. All you have to do is place shift click and on top of the repeater, two blocks like that. Put a torch, make sure that it's on the reset line, like on the last one, then place a repeater, then get a block that the repeater goes into, like so. Get your sticky piston, Place it facing down like that. It should be powered. And now get a block of redstone. Place that on there and that's pretty much it. Repeat that three more times. And then there's this one thing here where this torch would normally be interrupting with the note block. So all you do is put down a torch or the torch is there put a block on top of that torch and just place a note block on the side of that block that will still play as normal and this should work in xbox i believe i don't have an xbox i don't play minecraft on xbox clearly but from what you guys say the only problem was the half slabs this should eliminate the issue I hope it helped guys. If it did, I appreciate it. If you liked the video, I appreciate it more if you subscribe. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Catches.